Hi, today I'd like to show you how to um, use the Hovercam Flex with Kurzweil, and I'll also show you the Hovercam Flex software that comes with the Hovercam. So to get started, you go to the scan menu, and I have the Hovercam plugged into the USB port on my computer. So I'm going to go to preview. And this shows me an image, live image of what's um, under the camera. So here I have a paper about Kurzweil. And I can lower or raise the camera to zoom in and out. So I'll zoom in a little bit. And it looks pretty good. And then I can say acquire to capture the image. And it makes a little sound. And it, um, then appears in Kurzweil. So if I wanted to do another page, I could flip and then scan it um, by pressing acquire or if I'm done and that's the only one I wanted to see um, I wanted to use I can press cancel and then um, Kurzweil will be able to read it just like any other scan, scan document uh, let me turn up the volume one sec And I can use all the highlighting and annotation, annotation tools that Kurzweil offers. Um, I can also use the scan feature to um, select a different scanner. And um, and do double, um, two page scans, which um, is able to split up the pages of a book if you scan them, um, if you capture them using the same image. So as you can see, it was pretty quick at cap capturing the image, and it's um, very crisp for um, very crisp looking. I'll have a sample um, scan document from the Hovercam on my blog if you want to check it out. Now here's the Hovercam um, Here's the Hovercam Flex software. One thing that I did notice is you can't have both open at once. Um, you can't have Kurzweil using the Hovercam open and um, still use the Hovercam Flex software. So I'm going to have to close Kurzweil and then um, hopefully it will recognize the camera. I'm going to try to restart the Hovercam Flex software. So once you, um, when you, each time you start the Hovercam Flex software, you're greeted with the screen. Um, we'll go into the scan mode first. And there we go. Um, here is um, what you see, what the camera is seeing right now. You can see my hand. Um, you can um, rotate this image so it's in the right orientation. You can also crop it if you're um, going to do a scan and you don't want um, you don't want any extra background in. You can say crop and then drag this to the area that you want to capture. When you're scanning, you have um, a number of different options, including the file format, um, JPEG, GIF, um, PDF. You can also adjust the resolution. And then when you're ready to scan, you just press this button, and it captures it and puts it right up here. 
Another thing that you can do with the hover cam is video. It has to re-initialize um, the camera, but then you see it. And um, let's say you're a teacher in a class. You can put this on a projector and show the, the class or the audience. Um, you can write on it and show them how to do a problem or just show them a document for them to copy down or take notes off of. You can also make that image for full screen for better uh, for easier viewing and um, you can annotate the image so if this is on a uh, on a projector and um, I want to draw something I can pick a color and um, then I can draw I can circle something for the audience or even put text on. In addition, um, you can do a, a number of other shapes um, and then you can delete or undo the edits. Now one thing that the hover cam, I, um, the hover cam can also do is record the videos of um, record what it, the videos of what it sees so um, I can select a resolution um, HD video and then um, it can begin to record but one thing I found is notice how when I move my hand across the page it's extremely ghosty and ch um, somewhat choppy um, that does translate over to the video so if you're going to do anything um, with motion or that requires um, even slow movement you're going to get this ghosting effect when you use the hover cam um, as far as I can tell um, on the top you can turn on an LED light uh, a set of LED lights for low light situa situations and you can see how it brightens up the page it also has a built-in microphone for the video recording, um, which I found to be slightly muffled and not of um, not great for the taking taking videos. Um, if you, I'm going to try to show you with the hover cam. Um, this this is a rubberized mat that comes with the hover cam. And I'm going to zoom in on one particular feature. Um, let's see. Um, if you can see right here where my index finger is pointing, um, it has some raised um, lines and braille. This is to help people with visual um, impairments to line up the page properly so you can uh, feel where you're supposed to put the page. It also includes a bumper which is just a piece of um, sturdy material that forms a right angle in order to line up subsequent pages correctly. So I can um, put this here and then align the page properly each time if I have to take, if I have to scan 10 pictures. So there you have it, a look at the hover cam and the hover cam working with Kurzweil. Thanks for watching.